Welcome back, guys, here, this old house here, Richfield, Utah. Let me go ahead and show you some things that I've done so far uh, today on this old house here that we're doing. It's quite interesting. It's going to be exciting when I get this done, whenever I get it done. I'm doing it by myself. So, well, pretty much all the demo was doing it being done by myself. And then I'll have probably my kids and the wife here helping trying to help me out the kids at least but i'll let them think they're helping me out and whatnot they can help by giving me tools and whatnot but once i get all the demo done then they can come over i just don't like them here when i'm doing the demo because it's bad enough i gotta wear a mask it's very hard and bad enough trying to get them to wear a mask so <clears throat> would be nice to have a little more help on getting their demo done but it is what it is. I need to get my butt in gear and start working on it on the weekends, but it kind of sucks when you're working a job. It's 14 hours almost. 14 hours a day, Monday through Friday right now. It kind of sucks, but got to do what you got to do. But anyways, let me show you what we have here. All righty, you remember this wall here? Well, there's officially all the chimney stacks that went right up to the ceiling. When I redone the... Uh, um, the roof, I knocked the chimneys all the way down to just to the ceiling level because I knew eventually once I get going to uh, remodeling, I was going to take and tear those chimneys down. And then the insurance doesn't have no questions about it because there ain't no chimneys on the roof. There was like three or four chimneys on this house. I should have probably climbed up in the attic and I did a little bit of a video up in there to show you what's up in there. Maybe I could try to still get up there and show you there's actually up in the attic right here, there is a wall that goes up there and it also has another chimney exit, another port for a chimney. And then on the other side of the house, there's also another one over there too. But look at all that. Remember that little window right here? Well, it's gone. It's a big window now. But anyways, right here, let me show you. This is a load-bearing wall, but there really doesn't seem like no weight sitting on it because those bricks at the top right there, every one of them move. So that tells me, let me see if I can climb up here and show you. Well, there's a little bit of pressure on that one, but see this? I'm gonna do this one side here for now. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and put up a temp support right here just to be on the safe side. I can actually probably put up a temp and bring those joists up a little bit. But they are, uh, they are, uh, it is a load bearing wall right there. So which is no big deal. I'll take and redo it and put up a new one. Let me see if I can just stretch up in here. See that chimney right there? Look at that. There's another chimney right there. That's on that wall there. Let me see if I can rotate right here without falling down or whatnot. Let me rotate the camera here and see if we can see over there on the other side. Let me go ahead and grab my flashlight out of my pocket. Okay, so right. There's another chimney port right over there. There's actually two of them. There's one right at the bottom, and there's one right at the top. Quite interesting, huh? Did you see? The vaulted ceilings right there are, or, or, or I should say, attic. The attic's uh, vaulted attic. But the attic's also vaulted. I could go up there and maybe make another bedroom up in there. And add a room up in there. Or make a bigger access so you could actually go up there and put some boards down on the floor, on the ceiling. And uh, make it storage. But I don't know. We'll see. I 
we'll see. I don't know where I'd end up putting the attic access at right now. So, um, but let me go back and flip you back around. So anyways, we got this all down. All this is taken out. I was working on the ceiling right there, scraping all that lath, the plaster off. It's not lath and plaster because I'm leaving the lath. It's the plaster. And I don't know. I might just get the, uh, I just actually been thinking about it today while I was doing it. I might just do what I did before on another house and just going in and up in the attic and just start smashing that all down. Then I'll end up have to put in new insulation and stuff, but I can tear out the lath and plaster and everything, and then I can just go ahead and just put in sheetrock and put it on top. But I don't know, it's just more work, a little bit more money and stuff, but now I just got to go ahead and clean all this up here. But it will be good. If I can find some roof jacks or something like that, that uh, they extend up and then you turn them, I, if I can get three of those, that would be perfect because I can put one here, one here in the middle, and one over here just to, to be on the safe side because there is a little bit of weight on this side of the wall here because that top brick is not moving. But the wall bricks over on this side, they're all looser than loose, and I can take them all down. So let me go ahead and show you over here. We're still got this the same way as it has been. I'll come in and finish it, but I've just been kind of working on in the kitchen and stuff. Try to add the kitchen and the living room and stuff. I probably should just finish this up here, but you know, there's not a lot here to do. So, which is no big deal. Um, and we'll move on over to here and stuff and get the water heater because we got the water heater right here. I want to get this moved and taken out and drained and stuff. And I'm thinking about when I redo this back here, I'm going to tear that wall all down out there, redo it, gut it down, probably see what's underneath the floor in there. If there's stairs, that's good. If there's not stairs, that's fine too. We'll put some in there and then put the water heater out there. And then I'll redo that whole thing right there and reframe it all up and insulate it and side it and sheet it and everything else. Then we'll do uh sheetrock out there because that's potential where the water sure and uh dish uh washer and dryer is going to go not dishwasher the washer and dr dryer is going to go is out there and not here in the kitchen because my plan is is having countertop from that corner all the way over to here i am going to take this whole wall right here down all that's going to be gone i'll remove all the bricks then i'll turn around come back in reframe it back up i'll run a new beam across here take this here out is the plan probably take a portion of that out also and if this wall right over here is not a load-bearing wall i am going to be removing that i don't think it's a load-bearing wall now looking at up in the attic your ceiling joists your roof joists or whatever you want to call them they are running east and west here on this section of the house. So that's a good thing. This is a load-bearing wall right here. That is a good thing. If that's not a load-bearing wall, I can eliminate that, stud it up with the 2x4s, redo it. This one here, that is a load-bearing wall. Your ceiling joists are going north and south here. So I will have to keep that wall there. I could remove it and put up a new wall. But I'm going to just go ahead and leave those right there because that's already a good wall. Unless I have to go down here and redo them because I'm going to have to redo this floor here. But more than likely, I'm going to have to put in new floor joists. Then that other wall right through here on the other side of the bathroom, it will be guided out and stuff. And I could remove that wall and open up the bathroom a little bit. Because you already got a wall here. And it might be enough that it's expanded over it on the outside wall, taking that weight, and then this taking the extra weight and section it off to go over to here. We'd have to measure and make sure. But that ain't going nowhere, that other wall over there, because you've got to have two walls to make closing the bathroom. But anyways, back over to here. So then I will run a beam across the top up there. 
That will support that whole ceiling right there and join those two together. You know what? It's going to be amazing of what's going to turn out. So, when I build this wall up here, I'm going to probably come to right here about because I'm going to do a countertops all the way through here and then I'm going to have a fridge right here. It's probably the plan. We'll find out when we get to that point of getting that far after we stud this wall back up. We'll 2 by 4 it up and reframe it and put in new insulation. The log cabin is staying. This archway will be going bye-bye. The archway would be nice to keep, but it's too small here. Trying to get stuff into the hallway, into the kitchen, when I had to move in a new stove, a wa um, washing machine, a fridge. It is too hard to make that turn there. So, also, the Reaper that I found. Look at the Reaper. I've kind of stretched it down a little bit. I've taken some pictures of things and whatnot. And, uh, of it. So people can see, but I'm gonna probably get some tape and fix it and tape it back together. And I'm also hoping that I can just take and stretch it out like that. It will stretch back out. But I'm also thinking if I could take and just put a mist of water over that to bring it out a little bit, kind of like if you were gonna iron it and straighten it back up. But I just don't wanna ruin it, so. But, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this old house, the video part of it, what's going on with it so far. I just need to get busy on it. It's winter time now and stuff, so it gets a little colder, which is fine. I'm inside. I got a lot of work to do here. Uh, got a furnace I could run. I'm going to try not to run it as much because i that's a brand new furnace and I don't need it full of crap going through it, so... If I have to, I can bring in my heaters and stuff and use them. But anyways, I do need to get my butt in gear on my days off. Every time I have a spare minute or my time off, usually I don't work on it when I'm working Monday through Friday or whatnot because I work 14 hours. I need to get home, get ready for bed and get eat and get up back up and be to work at 4 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock. So... Saturdays and Sundays, go to church on Sunday, and then I need to get over here and get working on it. So, I need to get progress making on this. I should have had a lot more of this done than what I've got right now. So, I've just been busy doing other things, trying to do other things, spend time with the wife, the wife and the kids and stuff. So, you know, some days they don't appreciate me around. So, because I'm kind of hard and difficult because I want it my way and just comes back to how I grew up, so um, wanting making sure things are done and kept nice and neat and stuff, and um, not just just basically not how I grew up. So want a better 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 lifestyle than what I had to go through and stuff of growing up. It wasn't too bad. It's just cluttered us and stuff. So, but anyways, you guys have a good day and. Thanks for watching, and go ahead and make some comments. If you have any comments or share or whatnot, I hope I find some good treasures here. Make a couple billion off of, you know? Maybe I'll find some gold bars. Right. So anyways, we'll chat at you guys later, and like they say, the women don't find you handsome. <laughs> they ought to at least find you handy. Even though they can't tolerate you some days, and you just drive them nuts. You guys, now you know the rest of the story. Good day.